Yo, what's going on, children of the corn? It is Friday, another day of life. So life's good, man. Life is good. All right, so some of you guys have been asking me for a while to react to Soldier's Fallout. Ah! All right, so we're on uh, the Springman's Production 2021 channel. Shout out to him. We're going to be reacting to his video. Soldier's Fallout Person's Unfortunate Predicament. <coughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the BBC. I am Wilbert Fair Audrey. You may also know me as the Reverend W. Audrey, the author of the Railway Series books. Today, I'll continue on documenting the events that took place on Soto on the July 4th, July 1973, 4th. or better known as the Brendan Bay Blast. Brendan the Bay incident Blast. shook the entire world as thousands of people, several locomotives, rolling stock, and vehicles lost their lives. Me and my team have managed to find all timetable sheets in and interview the survivors who experienced and witnessed the horrors of the deadly incident in their eyes. I've asked a retired solo fireman, Sidney Sanders, to give us the journal on where he wrote down many events that had happened. We've also interviewed two coaches whom you may know them as Annie and Clarabelle. This is the event of Percy's unfortunate predicament. All right, let's begin. Oh man, I know this is gonna be nuts. Oh, that's Annie right there. Yo, what the heck is that thing, bro? Okay, we got Percy. So, do you think everything will be okay? Don't worry, Percy. As soon as we get to the mainland, everyone will be safe. Then there was trouble. Dude, what the heck happened? That's what I said. The oh! Is I that the beast? Check on Percy. I'll try to distract that. Distract? Distracted with what? Yeah! Wait, that's Percy, right? <laughs> oh. Dude is chasing them. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, the railroad. Oh, the tracks are messed up, dude. Just crashed. Hurry! 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 Smash his face on that rock. God. That was James, right? Dude, poor Percy. He has no jaw anymore. 
for his unfortunate predicament. Dude, that was very unfortunate. F in the chat for Percy though. All right, so for our next video, we're gonna be reacting to the 1411 experiment on the recordings official soda fallout clip by Tidmouth Thunderbolt. Dude, that first 1411 video was crazy. one Engine known as Oliver has been acquired. Beaten up a bit after being derailed by Harold and Herbert. Arian Burt to the locals, the ironworks engines. Left on siding outside the main building. Right. Experiment 1411 2. Engine has been injected with a dosage of. The dosage engine of what? Has complained about nausea and a pain internally. We put the engine to sleep and we'll be doing some further research. Dude, it didn't tell us. It like hit the static. It's like SEP. 1411-3. Researchers have tasked Harold and Herbert to block engines from entering. Engine has started to show signs of awakening. Test on nearby flat car proved successful after knocking it on its side and about one swift movement. Engine has been given anesthetics after terminating the test. 1411-4. Circulation in the face has ceased. Engine's last face is a concerned Dude, expression. New host seems to have taken over. Tendrils have grown in length and are able to hold itself off the ground. We're really making major progress now. Fourteen eleven dash five. Face is now removable, exposing the mouth and teeth. Dude, look at all the sharp teeth. Tendrils can come out of the mouth now. That's so cool, man. Engine can now control eyes by shoving tendrils into the back of balls and using them like servos. I would want to be that turn. <laughs> Chapin's gone missing. Blood dripping from his mouth pretty much answered our question. We lured the ironworks engines in and got them ready for the test. They were horrified. One of them tried running into it and the other reversed. One trying to escape derailed and was torn in half. <laughs> Oil was dripping everywhere. And there was a fire. Engine went after the second one and compressed the front half, killing it instantly. Test was successful. Scrap will be sold later. Ooh. Fourteen eleven dash seven. Diesel ten was prepped for combat test. Dude, what this is will that? be our final combat test before mission is operational. Diesel was brought in and combat commenced. D ten like held a spider. You guys see that, right? Fight, calling it multiple names: creature, beast, monster. But the engine got the upper hand. Engine ripped off the hydraulic claw on the roof and tore off a buffer. Ow. Diesel 10 was powerless and begged for mercy, apologizing to steam engines in general. Engine took the thin end of the claw and jammed it into the middle of D10's face. We have decided no to call mercy, it the beast. Alright, so that's the beast. 1411 8. Engine number eight arrived at night and was taken care of. Beast ripped parts off and attacked it after backing it into the buffers. 1411-9. Towed brake van to monitor the... Uh, this'll help us be able to figure out... Dude, we can't. It didn't finish what he's saying because of the static. <laughs> All right. Well, that was interesting. All right, you guys. Well, those were some sort of Fallout videos. If you guys have any other videos you want me to watch, let me know down in the comments. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the amazing support. And I will see you on the next one. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Real is the game here. Before we begin this, you guys be asking why I have this all the time. And really, you guys really be asking that? Look at the videos you guys have me watching, man. I gotta protect myself from these demons. Oh my.
Oh All right, so today we are back with some more sort of Fallout videos. I know I be putting EXE in the videos and you guys get triggered. Bruh. I just do that for video ranking purposes, guys. No need to get triggered. I know it's not EXE. I'm sorry. I don't want to upset the uh, sort of Fallout fandom. I just do that, man, because it helps the video rank higher and the video to get more views and whatnot. And it also helps. It also helps the people that make the videos get recognized, man. So y'all gotta chill, take a chill pill. Okay, so today we are on uh, the Springman Productions 2021 channel. Shout out to him. Uh, we're gonna be reacting to three of his clips, and the first one is. Total Fallout the one and only to the trailer. <laughs> What do we got here? What's wrong with me? I'm scared. I'm scared. Please. Someone. Please. Number one? That's Please. Thomas. Please help me. Yo. Okay, so this might be when uh, Thomas is trapped back, uh, back in the tracks when the explosion happened and he wasn't able to escape. It seems like he's trapped there. As we see, he's like calling out for help and he's not moving or anything. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. All right, our second clip is Total Fallout Lonesome Toby. It, it wasn't. Yo, it looked like he's going through it, bro. I, I was concerned for Henrietta. It wasn't my fault. It, it wasn't my fault. Alright, he's definitely blaming himself. It's your fault! You agree? It's your Bro, you gotta fight the demons, man! Dude, he's letting his thoughts get to him. Do it, man. Oh. Yo, my boy, what did you do, man? All right, let's play that back. Run it back, man. It looks like he was going full speed and he crashed into like a crane or something. All right, where is it at? Can we play this in slow motion, dude? Let's go super slow. Oh, you guys saw that, right? There's like a crane right here. Or Toby, man. He couldn't get out of his thoughts. Where is it at? Where is it at? Right about here. Oh my god, dude. That was pretty gruesome. Alright, here it comes. Oh, I was trying to pause it right there, like right before he hits that. Alright, there it is. He crashes into what it seems like a crane of some sort of. Oh no, man. Poor Toby. Couldn't fight his thoughts. F in the chat. <coughs> All right, our third clip is the Brendan Bay Blast. We have seen another video, but uh, we haven't seen the uh, Springman's video version on it, so we're gonna be reacting to that. And yeah, right, I'm not gonna do reading because we've seen this already. All right, here we go. Hey, what's up, Edward? Oh, there's a blast. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. That boy's zooming out of there, man. Dude, 
dude, he is steaming. There's a blast from the earth. Take it anymore, man. You push him to his limit. Good evening. I'm Dr. Stuart Bailey. I work for the Atomic Energy Authority. I've worked for the AEE for 10 years, three of which I spent at AEE Winfrith near Dorset. I'm joined by my colleagues, Dr. Middleton and Dr. Dalby, both of which are my junior. At about 2.30 this afternoon, that's July 4th, the power station at Lower Brendam suffered a widespread system failure. Of four reactors online, only one is currently operating. What is that? The plant is currently running on it's backup like something power in the back or oh, explosion. To remedy the problem. The amount of radiation vented, or if radiation has been vented at all, is currently unknown. Teams from the Atomic Energy Authority have been dispatched to Lower Brendam to take radiation readings. We urge the citizens of Western Sodor to stay in their homes until the state of emergency is lifted or an order to evacuate is given. A thank you. Okay. Alright, that seems like that is it. For our last clip, we're here on a JSC Studios. We're gonna be reacting to his video. Total fallout. What might have happened to Gordon? Oh, poor Gordon. What is going on with him? Oh, he's getting mutated. Yo, what, Oliver? This is, looks like it was made in Roblox. <laughs> Pretty cool. Very creative. Alright, it seems like you might turn Oliver into the beast. Like, subscribe. All right. Oh, he is turning them into the beast. Yo, this is pretty cool. Oh, oh my God. All right. So I think the video is referencing it to maybe this is how Gordon turned into that mutated thing. Oliver might have caught up to him on the train tracks as we've seen. As it looks like he derailed or some sort of accident happened to him. And uh, Oliver turned him into that. Whatever you want to call it, man. To that hideous looking thing, dude. Look at that. <coughs> yeah, if I look like that, I wouldn't want to live, dude. Alright, it's just showing them now. Original reference images. Hey, that's from Springman's. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Well, those were some sort of Fallout videos. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure to turn on notifications if you're new around the channel. And thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Yo, what's good, YouTube? How's it going? <laughs> Today, we are back with some Tom of the Tank Engine videos. It's been a while since we've reacted to some because I believe I've seen all the horrific Thomas the Tank Engine videos that... 
there is on YouTube. But luckily I found some because I know you guys enjoy this evil freak of nature, whatever it came from. All right, so our first video is Curse Thomas meets train eater in the subway by Banimation. The Curse Railway. Curse Thomas the train versus train eater. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Oh, there we got Thomas. Thomas Spider. Oh my god, Train Eater? He looked like Doodoo, -doo, bro. Looked like a chunk of Doodoo. -doo. Oh. Oh. Oh, he, ch he chopped off his spider leg. What a savage. Oh, oh my god. Thomas is going in right now, bro. Wait, he doesn't have evil eyes anymore. Oh, you should... You shouldn't have let your guard down, Thomas. He ate him. No way that's real, right, guys? So we saw the battle, but I don't think Terrain Eater would actually be Thomas. I don't know. Who do you guys think would actually win in a fight? Now we're here on Siren Studios channel. We're going to be reacting to Curse Thomas the Tank Engine Spider.exe. I'm digging these animations. I like these uh, cartoon style animations. They're pretty cool. Right, it seems like we got a group of friends out in the woods of some sort or something like that. Oh, dude. Do you not see it's boarded off? <laughs> that dude is scared. So that's a girl or a guy? It looks like a guy, right? With glasses. <laughs> I believe that's a boy. Ouch! Come on, Shaggy. What's it doing? Yeah, it's a train, my guy. Sassy, though. Oh, no, no. These guys don't know what they're getting themselves into. <laughs> they have awakened the beast! Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that's so disgusting, man. <laughs> oh no, here it goes! At least they're trying to save him, you know? Oh, right in the kisser, man. I can just ate him. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Thomas is a savage, man. Just ate his head off. Bro, you guys gotta get out of the rail of the train tracks. Run, girl! Like, oh! <laughs> Dude, he just spit the head at her! Fatality! Finish her! <laughs> yo, that was epic, yo! Thanks for watching! Yo, thank you for this awesome animation, man! So now we move on to Andy Wilson 92's channel, and we're gonna be watching Thomas and Friends do story begins early in the morning you on don't the say, island sire. of Sodor. Gordon is racing down the tracks to take Mrs. Franz Tally to the post office so she can collect her pension. Her pension? <laughs> That's for old people, by the way. Oh my god! This is cursed! 
Like the video or you will be cursed. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, don't tell me he's gonna land on them. Three, two, one, zero. No? Oh! <laughs> We've got to get there, Gordon. The push your fish open soon. At the station. This is gonna give me nightmares. Look at Thomas. Thomas. For the day. James Thomas. Thomas. We need you to deliver this coal to the power station, or the island will be without power. James. He's always You'll so bossy, to man. To Screw you, fat controller. Fat. Which is coming by boat from Africa. I'm trusting you, James, to do this job well. <laughs> this is horrific, dude. <laughs> oh. Darling, <laughs> darling. I don't think I'll be able to walk now. She busted her face. Thomas, the tank engine is coming to the rescue. Get inside my crane. Yeah, no, thank you. Oh, oh, this is weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he just bit her out. <laughs> oh man. You train have done such a good job. You are invited back to mine later for tea and bottom bird cake. <laughs> Dude, this is so creepy, man. <laughs> okay, so happily ever after they had a tea party. Marvelous. If she invited me over to that tea party, I would definitely not show up. <laughs> okay. Well, that was something else. All right, you guys, well, those were some cursed, scary Thomas the Tank Engine videos. Dude, I don't know about the last one. That was... It was something different. We've never seen anything like that before. And I believe it's uh, scarred me for life now. Woo! Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the amazing support as always. And I will catch you all in the next one. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on, man? It is Friday. Yeet. Happy Friday to everybody. I hope you all have an amazing weekend, by the way. And today we are here on... Wait, wait, let me scroll up. Oh my Bruh. God. We're here on a train fan dot blah, 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 blah. train fan J dot T channel. He actually commented on my video. He's like, "Hey, yo, bro, mind checking out my videos? You can react to them and whatnot because they are sort of related, as we can see here." So, uh, shout out to train fan J T. Thanks for the, letting me react to your videos, of course. And shout out to him. Go check out his channel out. Make sure to go like his videos and all that stuff. So for our first video, we're gonna be watching. <laughs> After the Brandam Bay Blast. This should be interesting. It looks like it was made in Roblox. Wait, was that Donald? I believe it was. Not Donald Trump though, he stinks. <laughs> Dude, man's looks like he's worried. Do the way his eyes move. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is definitely made in Roblox. Man 
it's hitting that reverse. Alright, the next day. Seemed like he just got there and loaded his load, whatever he had there. Wait, um, that's uh, Boko, right, guys? Boko! I thought everybody was supposed to be like mutated though since it was after the blast and like their whole radiation stuff. Oh, Ben. All right, we got Bill and Ben here. Dude, they're mutated. Stormtroopers! I guess he had to get a little creative, you know? Oh my god, dude, you saw their faces? They got infected for sure. Yo, they just shot up Bill and Ben! Team Fortress? That is so messed up. Boko had to witness this, man. That is so sad. Rip to them. Yo, what's going? What's happening to Donald? Sound like his engine is about to be blown out or something. Yo! Blew up. What caused them to blow up? Maybe too much pressure. Poor Boko, dude, he just witnessed all of this. Wait, I saw Salty's name in the back there, like on a sign. Where's Salty at? All right, well, that is it. All right, for our next video, we got Final Fellow, Final Stop, Sinner. What do we got here, James? Oh, 
Oh my god, dude, it looks like he's already been mutated or something. Oh my god, where is he going though? Oh! Seems like it's getting worse by the minute. Where is he headed off to? That's what I want to know. What's wrong with these trains and crashing and blowing up all the time, dude? All right, so it seems like James was zooming out there and then he just like, he crashed into that pile of dirt, whatever that was. I couldn't tell exactly what it was and he couldn't stop in time. I don't know, man. Um, well, that is it, you guys. If you guys want me to react to any specific uh, Soder Fallout episodes, let me know in the comments down below. Check them out, definitely. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Uh -huh. So, before we start this video, let me just address this. I know I mix up some of the characters and their names. I might not call them by the correct name or whatnot. I'm human too, you know. I make mistakes. And some of you guys be bashing like you guys get triggered over this. And then there are others, some of you guys, that actually help me out. Like, you guys are like, oh, it's fine if you get the names wrong and you guys give me information. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Huge shout out to you guys. All right, so with that being said, we're going to be reacting to more Soda Fallout because you guys actually asked for more of this. So here we are today. We're here on Wattpad. Now, this is uh, the website where uh, Connor, the creator of Solar Fallout, he uploads like the, the readings to Solar Fallout. So there's actually like a little storyline to this where you can actually read. So as we see, there's a table of contents and it has about what, two, four, six, eight, nine. It has about nine chapters, if we were to call them chapters per se. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, there are different dates on here. They're all based on the same year. I'm not too sure what each chapter consists of. Maybe it had like title to the chapter next to the dates marked, or maybe I'm just bugging, man. I don't know. And maybe I could read these if you guys like. I could make a video of uh, reading each chapter. You guys want me to do that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Let's read this little prologue, whatever it is, so you guys can get an idea of what sort of fallout myself too. The year is 1973. Life is normal on the island of Soder. Contracts were being made and buildings were being built. A nuclear power plant on the Brand Dam have been been built but after that <laughs> oh man all right that sounds a bit chaotic man i don't know sounds like something went down on soda island all right so with that being said we are on a uh, connor's channel and we're gonna be reacting to the brandam bass blade soda fallout official july 4th 1973 <laughs> We were all at Wellsworth when it happened and heard a loud explosion. The sky went dark and this huge cloud was visible in the distance. Charlie and I knew exactly where that came from and we knew that we had to go. Okay. Oh man, that's explosion! Yo. Oh my god, the crowd in the background screaming. People cleared the platform faster than I had ever seen before. We knew the shockwave would have been coming fast, so we alerted the guard and luckily he had seen what we saw. He blew his whistle and we released the brakes, hit the regulator and pulled the whistle for dear life. Uh, thank god he was because without him we would have been killed we sped down the line at speeds we've never gone before all right so there they go they're zooming out of there man we passed donald who was heading the opposite way pulling slow goods we found out later that he didn't make it out alive and neither did william or colin in his cab dude that is so messed up edward was probably uh, the most horrified out of all of us and i didn't blame him while we all had some layer of protection he didn't so that probably motivated him to go faster Jeez, there's so much going on, dude. So hectic. We shot past Crosby, and uh, that's when the shockwave hit us. And Jesus, it was strong. Dude, I'm even getting nervous for these trains. 
Okay, so there was a, that must have been the shockwave and the explosion. It caused the glass in the carriages to shatter and rock them to side side to side. Edward's front pony truck uh, also derailed on the points because of it, but those things didn't stop us. We could feel the heat rising. We didn't stop until we got to Knapford. All right, yeah, I can't imagine how like the shockwave and all that. That must have been terrible, bro. Luckily, we made it safely and huddled everyone in the station buildings and offices. We heard on the radio that the entirety of Brandon was hit by the explosion and the death toll was unknown. I hope to, uh, I hope to God Leonard got out of there alive, but that is a slim chance. <laughs> Alright, so we can hear like the people in the back. Some sort of radio? Trying to get signal or something? Good evening, I'm Dr. Stuart Bailey. I work for the Atomic Energy Authority. I've worked for the AEE for 10 years, three of which I spent at AEE Winfrith near Dorset. I'm joined by my colleagues, Dr. Middleton and Dr. Dalby, both of which are my junior. At about 2.30 this afternoon, that's July 4th, the power station at Lower Brendam suffered a widespread system failure. Of four reactors online, only one is currently operating. The plant is currently running on backup power with staff attempting to remedy the problem. The amount of radiation vented, or if radiation has been vented at all, is currently unknown. That's not good. Teams from the Atomic Energy Authority have been dispatched to Lower Brendam to take radiation readings. We urge the citizens of Western Sodor to stay in their homes until the state of emergency is lifted or an order to evacuate is given. Uh, thank you. Dude, the radiation is out there. That's not good for the citizens, man. They could become mutated, all that stuff. Now imagine the trains. <laughs> Where do the trains get mutated to? I don't know, man. I'm just going off my thoughts, you know. It's been almost six hours in this damn station and no one's received any word on whether or not it's safe to go out yet. I've been feeling so much guilt over leaving Edward out in the station and like that. I hope to God he's all right. Oh, poor Edward. Hopefully he'll make it out safe and sound. Alright, that was it. Wait, wait. Okay, so it okay, what was that ending about? I heard like the train pull up and then the whistle. I don't recognize. I'm pretty sure every train has a unique whistle. I don't know who maybe it was Edward. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm reaching. Let me know down in the comments below. Alright, you guys, well that was the Brandon Bay Blast sort of fallout. If you guys want me to react to more videos, let me know in the comments down below. You know what to do. Smash like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And a uh, shout out to uh Connor. The creator of Soldier Fallout for making this uh, awesome little side cool series. I guess you would call it whatever you want to call it. Shout out to him, man. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the basic support as always. And I will see you on the next one. <laughs>